Hello again, this is Megan, and I'm here today to tell you guys more about the Janome M7 Continental Sewing Only Machine. Here at Rocky Mountain, this has been one of our favorites because it is one of the largest sewing only machines on the market with its 13 inch throat space right here. This machine is fantastic for quilters, costumers, and just normal sewers all alike because of the great workspace that's here, the fantastic lighting, plus all of the goodies and accessories that are included with it. As you can see, it comes with this nice big extension table. One thing to note about the M7 is that there is actually no um, accessory arm on this. So if you're trying to do sleeves and things, you will struggle a little bit. One thing I like about this as well is it does have a little drawer for storage too. So you can keep some of your favorite presser feet, your extra needle plates, because it does come with three of them here, along with your bobbins and any other things that you might need. Now, the M7 itself has a very impressive Beautiful screen up here. The screen actually gives me a lot of information, like what stitch I'm on, what presser foot to use, and then I can pick the different stitches right here. Along with that, I can toggle my needle to stop in the down position or the upward position, can tell it if I've got a twin needle or a single needle, can activate that dual feed function that we were talking about, and so much more. To see it so in action is pretty impressive. If you look, it comes with a giant foot control along with a little thread cutter button. But if you just press on the foot control, I don't need to raise or lower the presser foot or anything. It's just gonna lower for me. There it goes. And then it sews. And it can go very, very fast. I can also cut my thread. It'll do that for me. Raise up the presser foot. And then I've got a beautiful seam without having to struggle. If I wanted to, I could also just press it here. Step on the little foot control down here. And then without having to move hands or anything, it cut the thread for me and did all of that. Now, on the screen, there's all sorts of different decorative stitches available. So right now I'm in the utility section. It switches over to the buttonholes, which there are a ton of, and it does a buttonhole beautifully, by the way. It also has a ton of extra decorative stitches. So as a seamstress, I really like the play button because there's things like a dress form in there and a couple of other cute little designs. And then it even has a couple of alphabets. So you can do a small little label saying made with love by your name here. <laughs> and then it also gives you the ability to do some tapering on some stitches as well. So people like to do that when they're trying to border something or on a collar, really nice decorative touch that's available on this machine. It also has some hand look stitches that'll kind of make it look like you actually sat there and sewed it by hand without having to go through all that work. And then my favorite part is gonna be this little shirt up here. So the shirt actually shows you a whole bunch of different instructions on how to do some of the things you might wanna do while you're sewing. So for garment sewers, our section is gonna be this first one here, where it'll t show you gathering, uh, how to do zippers, how to do curves, doing a stretch knit. So if I pick one of them, if I go here, it'll show me what stitch is available for it. Not to mention, you probably noticed every page has this little barcode here. So if you were scan that with your phone or a tablet or one of those kind of devices, it'll actually pull up a screen with the tutorial on how to do it, which is awesome. Now for quilters, if you go to this section, it actually shows you a whole bunch of techniques for quilting as well. So patchwork piecing is really impressive because it will actually measure how big your blocks are. So if you're doing like a pixel quilt where everything is like two inches long, it'll measure that for you so that you have enough time to situate it. Along with that, one thing that I find really, really great is the needle plate. So it does come with three different needle plates. It comes with a zigzag, which I've got on right now, a straight stitch, and then a high performance plate. So the high performance plate, if I can wriggle it out of here, is something like this, where it actually has a hole right there. What is so cool about that high performance plate is it actually emulates what the old well, what I should say, the older machines used to do, where they only had two rows of feed dogs versus the seven that the M7 has. Well, five plus the extra two back up front. So when it actually runs on this needle plate, it runs right there. 
So you're only doing two rows of bead dogs. So that's really nice if you're doing a delicate fabric, if you're used to that kind of perfection, it really does a beautiful job and enables you to do that. But alongside that, the needle plates are super easy to change so that when you need to clean underneath it or whatever you need to do, it's really, really easy. You can just press the little um, key button there. You press the needle plate button there, it lifts up and I'm there. I'm already ready to clean it out and go from there. When I'm ready to put it back, you probably heard it just make that sound. I just put it there, drop it, and a magnet will bring it back down. So I don't even have to push and wait for the click or anything. It does it for me. And it always reminds me to make sure the presser foot is attached. That's the right one. So you don't do a zigzag on a straight stitch plate. No one has fun doing that. And go from there. The last thing I really want to show you guys is going to be the AccuFeed foot that Janome has. So only a few models of Janome's have, has this foot available. But what is so neat about this foot is it's like a walking foot but it's not nearly as loud or as bulky as most walking feet that we're used to. On this foot, you just take the ankle off and then I'm gonna put that little piece there to hook it on, just like a normal presser foot. It does have several different plates as well, so I can take this off and replace it with a quarter inch foot, a stitch in the ditch foot, all sorts. And there's even a narrow one, which I showed you earlier, where you can actually put a zipper foot on it, which I absolutely love as a costumer. And then I click it into place. If I go back to utility stitches and tell it AccuFeed is um, active, I can go ahead and use that. And when I sew, I can do it just like normal. Drop it down. And you can see it didn't make any extra clumping, clunking noises and the feet right there just walk along with the fabric and help it feed more evenly, which is just amazing. So if you are in the market for a really big, beautiful sewing machine that's going to make your life a lot easier, I definitely recommend coming and checking out the Janome M7 Continental Sewing Only Machine, and we would love to help you drive it. And if you have questions, as always, let us know. Thank you for joining me.